Hello, my name is Kurt Spackman, and I'm a technical support engineer here at ACI. Today, I would like to discuss our line of duct-mounted temperature averaging sensors. Specifically, I would like to address choosing the right sensor for your application, mounting best practices, and the advantages of an averaging sensor versus a single point duct sensor. We offer a variety of averaging sensors, including rigid, copper, and flexible configurations, each available with thermistors, RTDs, or temp transmitters. Which one you choose will depend on your application. Let's start by looking at our rigid averaging sensors. RTD and temperature transmitter rigid averaging sensors have a continuous sensing element, which means the entire length of the probe is monitoring the air temperature within the duct and outputting a signal equal to the average temp. Thermistor rigid averaging sensors monitor the temperature at four sensing points within the probe and provide an output signal equal to the average of the four sensing points. The length of the probe you choose should be based on the size of the ductwork. Our rigid averaging sensors are available in the following lengths. For thermistors, 12, 18, 24, 36, and now available in 48 inch. For RTDs and temperature transmitters, 12, 18, 24, and 36 inch. You will want the rigid averaging probe to cover as much of the width of the duct as possible without touching the other side. Confirm that the entire length of the probe is contained within the ductwork when installed. If any portion of the probe is outside the duct, your output may be skewed. The sensor should be mounted so the probe is in the middle of the duct where air circulation is well mixed and less stratification is present. Next, let's take a look at both our copper and flexible averaging sensors. These sensors differ from rigid averaging because the sensing element is made of either copper tubing or a flexible cable that can be bent back and forth within the duct in order to get an accurate average temperature. Stratified air can be difficult to monitor within ductwork because the air is separated into layers with different temperatures. In these cases, you will get more accurate readings using copper or flexible averaging sensors compared to a rigid probe averaging sensor. Stratification often occurs in the mixing box or section of duct where the return air is mixed with outside air. Some benefits of ACI's copper sensing element is its superior thermal conductivity and higher corrosion resistance compared to our competitors' aluminum averaging sensors. Additionally, Copper has been proven to have an antibacterial effect on airborne contaminants, mold, and bacteria found in duct systems. ACI's copper averaging sensors are available in the following lengths. For thermistors, 8, 12, 24, and 50 foot. For RTDs and temp transmitters, 8, 12, 24, 50, 80, and 100 foot. ACI's flexible averaging series uses an 18-gauge plenum-rated cable sensing element manufactured with four or nine sensing points depending upon the length of the sensor. Our flexible averaging sensors are available in 8, 12, 24, and 50-foot lengths. Flexible averaging sensors come packaged with adhesive cable tie mounts, but we also offer additional mounting clip options for ease of installation and to prevent kinking of the capillary when making bends. For optimal temperature measurement when using averaging sensors, follow these tips. Mount coil horizontally for vertical stratification. The entire length of the sensor must be spread evenly over the area of the duct. The entire length of the sensor coil must be installed completely inside the duct. If any part is exposed to temperatures outside the duct, your reading will be skewed. Mount coil vertically for horizontal stratification. When installing the sensor near air handling units, place the sensor downstream from the fan discharge. Stratified airstream will be more uniform across the duct cross section. If the air is not well mixed, the reading may be inaccurate. If UV lights are installed in the duct, do not use flexible averaging sensors as there is no UV protectant on its outer jacket. Use copper averaging sensors in these cases. 
confirm operating temperatures and humidity levels in your application prior to choosing copper or flexible averaging sensors. Only use flexible averaging from 32 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit and an operating humidity range of 10 to 90 percent. We recommend not using flexible averaging in damp environments. Extreme cold temperatures can cause cables to become brittle and less flexible. These conditions can lead to difficult installations and even cause damage to cable jackets and insulation. Copper averaging sensors should be used in these instances. Refer to our data sheets for operating temperature and humidity ranges for both styles. Sizing an averaging sensor can be difficult because the air stratification is different from project to project. If you run into a scenario where the stratification is unknown, a general rule of thumb is to have one foot of sensor length per square foot of duct. For example, a 54 inch by 36 inch size supply air duct is 13.5 square feet. So, select a 12 foot averaging sensor. If the square footage falls in between the lengths of our averaging sensors, then we try to determine what will cover the most surface area without kinking the copper. Ideally, the element should be spaced with runs around one foot apart. There are instances where you may need to use six inch spacing in order to keep all of the element within the duct. But be careful in these instances, as the tighter bends will cause added stress on the copper. Using six inch spacing may also block airflow in the duct due to an increase in dust collection. Do not go smaller than six inch spacing if possible. Again, the sensor mounts in a serpentine fashion, back and forth across the cross section of the duct and is supported at each point it meets the duct. Make sure it covers the greatest surface area of the duct to ensure you get the most accurate possible reading of stratified air. As you can see, ACI offers a wide variety of solutions for your temperature averaging applications. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to contact us with any questions regarding these or any of ACI's products or call us at 888-967-5224 or click the chat button on the bottom of any page of our website at workaci.com. Offering a great selection of temperature averaging sensors is just another way ACI is engineering a better sensor solution.